Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel um, and welcome to my makeup explosion room. This is my filming room and it is an absolute disaster. It's also half my garage which you can see all that other crap back there. Um, so I'm cleaning it, I'm speed cleaning it because I haven't really done this since April last year when I filmed another one of these videos. It's a problem, we'll talk about it later. I don't want to talk about it but we will. First things first, I need to take down these softbox lights. They are bulky, they're in the way, I often fall over them. The dog, oh there she is, we'll talk about her cone in a minute too. Uh, the dog trips on them or you know knocks them over. I want to replace them with these skinny lights that I use. Um, at the time I didn't know if it was going to work so I sort of set everything up to see how it would look and um, it looked great as far as I know. I'll have to do some more testing but I think it's going to work out. So taking down those softbox lights I need to also get into the rest of the garage and find some empty tubs to store them in because at the moment they're just kind of sitting on top of that crap that you can see in the background which is not ideal. Okay, the desk. Let's let's talk about the desk. The desk is the first place to get messy in this room and that's fine. Usually what I do, I'll come in here, I'll film two or three videos and then I take all of the products that I've talked about and I put them in tubs and I leave them on the desk. Now, I do this for two reasons. Most importantly, it is easy for me to then just grab, grab the tub of products and um, you know, reference them if I'm doing metadata for a video and I need them. Uh, another reason why I just sort of dump it all there is because after I've sat in front of the camera and talked at length for two, three, four hours, I'm usually exhausted. Uh, it's very bright in there with the lights, the talking is kind of like takes it out of you and I don't want to be in there anymore. I want to go and have a, a snack, a drink, a rest. Um, so I just leave the tubs on the desk. Now, usually on a weekend, I will go in there and I will do a little tidy. I'll put stuff away. I'll, you know, make sure everything's neat and get myself started for the next week. But I haven't done that in an extremely long time. Like literally, it's been over a year. Now, originally the issue started after we came out of lockdown last year and I prioritized spending time with my friends um, on weekends when, you know, they weren't working and we could catch up and do stuff. It was a holiday season, so we spent a lot of time together and I didn't care about cleaning this room. Um, but then it kind of got out of hand. Winter came around and I get, I get seasonal affective disorder and it really hit me hard. Um, and I just, look, I was, I was probably a bit depressed and I wasn't really doing, like I was doing the bare minimum. Let's just say that. I was just doing what I needed to do to get through. So, you know, the, the desk, got messy and then I didn't have any room on the desk so I started putting stuff on other surfaces which you'll see oh well you saw earlier in the video and then I started putting things on the floor so a lot of the stuff that is you know making the mess is just stuff that hasn't been put in its home or it is um, recycling that I have lazily dumped and not actually recycled or it is PR stuff that um, is waiting to be donated but I can't because of COVID and we're locked down and I can't I can't do anything with it. Okay giving the camera a good clean uh, when you're filming with makeup and touching the camera often she gets filthy. Um, if only I knew what is about to befall that that poor camera um, <laughs> that's something for you guys to look forward to. Uh, also giving the, the computer a really good scrub. Um, I actually, while I was cleaning it, I realized I'd, I cracked the screen. Um, so yeah, I don't know when I've done that, but I've done it. <laughs> it's not too bad, but you know, that's not, not ideal. 
Okay, this section of the desk actually stays kind of tidy and that's because I can't reach it from where I sit at that desk. So I don't really put anything there. Um, yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's not too bad. decided to reward myself with a Lux candle after cleaning off the desk um, just to inspire me to do the rest of the room really because the desk looked great but obviously as you can see the rest of the room doesn't look great so I'm kind of doing what I was doing on the desk like moving everything dusting it wiping it down um, and <laughs> I really didn't get far um, once I'd sort of done that chest of drawers, I started faffing and it was like, you can see just a few tubs there on that surface. Um, but what you can't see, but you will see soon are all the boxes on the floor. Here we go. So this was really distracting me because I just didn't really know where to start with it. Um, basically what I've got here is like makeup, from my stash that I have used and not put away. I'm trying to put some of it away. Um, there is PR there. There is um, my whole like highlighter, blush and bronzer collection. I've got new makeup that I've purchased and not used too much and I want to play with more before I put it in my drawers and forget that I own it. Um, and right now I'm just kind of trying to put some stuff away. I'm not really getting very far because I'm feeling overwhelmed with the sheer amount of stuff, basically. I just picked up uh, a little chunk of wig hair that I had helped uh, my friend trim a, a wig for a dress up party. And I'm, I'm just trying to find homes for stuff. Um, Again, this is all the blush highlights and bronzers. So as you guys will know, I'm, I have a little series where I test out all of my makeup products from particular categories and I sit down and talk about them. Um, and what I usually do is I pull out the whole sort of group of products and I put them in a tub and then I, I use them, I make notes on them. And once I'm done, I film a video, um, but I, uh, look, I don't know why it didn't occur to me that this would be a bad idea, but I pulled all of my bronzers, highlights and blushes out because they can use, be used in conjunction with each other. Um, but I, like, it's too many. It's too many. They, my highlights literally fill a whole drawer on their own. So that's fun. Anyway, I'm putting them back because I'll just pull out what I need when I need it. Again, I'm just sorting through stuff. All of those brushes uh, need to be washed and that makeup all needs to be put away. Some of this is PR and I'm just putting it in a PR bag to deal with later. I, mm, it's just, you know, stuff. Oh, okay, this is definitely like one of the biggest problem areas and yeah I gave it the finger because you know <laughs> who wouldn't um so again this is stuff that I just don't want to deal with and I just pile it up like crap mountain um <laughs> and think to myself I'll deal with that another day it's fine I'll get to it this weekend and then I just don't I don't get to it um so I'm trying to just you know do what I can a lot of what I'm doing here is literally just moving like things from one spot to another, um, trying to consolidate them in ways that it makes me sort of easier, or makes it easier for me to um, sort through them later. I am putting away things that I like, I know it's got a home, so I put it there, but yeah, some, a lot of this stuff 
doesn't actually have a home yet. Um, I want to get rid of that light as well, but I didn't take it down because I just don't have room to store it yet, but I will get there. Here is pretty much <laughs> the, the worst, the worst part. I was here for a long, long, long time doing this. So what I'm doing is I'm going through these tubs, boxes, baskets, whatever, and I'm bunching like things together. So in the Morphe bag, it's all hair stuff that I want to put in a drawer. In the little blue basket is all makeup from my stash that I need to put away. Um, a lot of this is PR. Um, I have like an empties box that I haven't sorted through yet. I've got to, you know, put some in the rubbish or recycling. Um, I've got, you know, uh, my declutter drawer <laughs> box of makeup is up in the sort of top left hand corner so I'm just going through stuff I'm sorting through it and yeah I look it's actually gave me a headache when I was doing it and it's giving me a headache just watching myself do it again The build up of PR is kind of difficult. Um, you know, obviously Kat and I can't use it all. We keep what we're interested in, but um, we try to donate the rest. But because of COVID, it's just been impossible. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot. But basically I'm just trying to put it all together so that when I, I can try and contact people to uh, take it, that it's all together and easy for me to find. Okay, now that I've made a little bit of space, I'm bringing in some more boxes <laughs> oh god it, it just feels like it's never ending So I'm just going through the PR here, trying to decide, you know, what, what do I want to keep? What excites me? What do I feel will add value to my makeup life? And what do I want to pass on? Oh, this tub, my God, when I found this, I was actually really annoyed with myself. This is my makeup empties from 2020. Ridiculous. So I keep all of my makeup empties so I can do a video and show you like 
all of the products, the makeup products that I used up in a particular year. And I filmed this video back in, I don't know, like March, February, March, April, I don't know, months ago. And I've still got it. It's just ridiculous. And this is all PR again. Like, oh my God, it's just the sheer amount of stuff. Stuff. Also, do you guys want a Mecca Max brush review video? I set them aside thinking maybe I will do it. I've got like a small selection of the range. It's really big, but maybe, maybe I'll do that. You guys know I love playing with brushes. Going through my empties from the last few months, working out what what can I recycle, what can't I recycle, get that box empty so I can put new empties in there. Okay, this is where the fruits of my labor start. I am putting stuff away. So I've got that Morphe bag there. This is just all my hair stuff and I'm putting it all in the one drawer. Um, I do want to come back in the future and sort of reorganize what's in the drawers in my beauty room because I would ideally like that particular set of drawers to be empty but I've got a lot of work to do if I want to make that happen. Um, I'm also doing this here with my perfumes because I don't want them sitting on a bench or sitting in a box. And this is why I sort through all of those tubs and baskets and boxes and I just put things you know like things together so that it's easy for me to just sit there and fill a drawer with everything and then I know that that is done, like a tick off the list. Okay, more dusting, more wiping, more cleaning. Lovely. I love that head. <laughs> Okay, now I'm putting storage stuff in a storage drawer. <laughs> My God, I do want to go through that as well in the future. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm keeping empty makeup bags from Mecca, it's for when my friends say, Haley, do you have XYZ makeup that I can have? I've run out and I say, yes, of course. And then I go catch up with them for dinner and drinks. And instead of giving them just like a handful of loose makeup, I can put it in a bag and it makes it easier for them to carry it. Um, that was all the PR on the table, which was fantastic. We, we sorted that out. And look, my desk is messy again. It was spotless when I started. Remember, I lit that candle to reward myself. Um, but then I started dumping stuff on the desk again, just to move it out of the way. So I'm back to tidying the desk, yay. brushes 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 okay so this is months and months and months of brushes that I've used put in a tub and cleaned dried and then I put them in another tub and I haven't put them away I've actually got a full tub and half a box there so I am just sorting them into the you know the spots that they go I really need to go through my brush collection and just 
whittle it down a little bit because I do I have an excess and there's a lot of brushes there that I just don't use and I think it would be better if I give them a new home essentially And I'm covering them with a plastic bag because they get dusty and I can't find a cloche big enough to cover that holder. Um, so here we are again, just doing what I can. What can I do to make this room look a bit more like one step closer to being neat? Oh, I know. Let's fix the chair and take out the heated blanket because it's, it's spring and I'm spring cleaning and I don't need that anymore. Um, and again, I'm just about to start putting away some makeup, which is very exciting. We're gonna clear out some more of those tubs. That one that I'm doing there is mostly like skincare bits and bobs. So I'm just putting them away. And now for the makeup. Get that makeup in the drawers. So here I'm trying to find a home for those bulky palettes and I think I can, I've just got to reorganize this drawer. But it's at about this time that I start to hear Freya coming into the room and she bumped the table that the camera was standing on. You guys all right? Did you survive microphone? <laughs> Did you survive? Oh my God, I don't know how this camera is still working oh the autofocus okay a little turn on turn off looks like it's survived i don't know if the mic has survived my baby tripod is fucked though fucked fucked so that's great <laughs> So that audio does sound a little bit iffy to me but otherwise the camera seems to be okay we'll see i'll test it out a bit more but it doesn't matter the show must go on um it was an accident she didn't mean it she can't help it i am trying to fix my tripod here um because i really love that little tripod and it was expensive when i bought it um but it's futile she broke and i have ordered another one i actually found one a bit cheaper that looks to be the same product which is fantastic um, so again I'm just tidying stuff putting it away here I've got my hair and body drawers um, and also the top three drawers in that unit is where I would store my <laughs> I'm about to get really stressed here yeah um, so this is where I used to store new makeup that I hadn't decided if it was going to stay in my collection or not yet um, and when I sort of stopped using this room as much as I usually would, um, I kind of forgot about the makeup in there. So I've rediscovered that and I just put some more stuff away. So, you know, there we go. Um, so again, last minute, sort of faffy, tidy, move some stuff around, get things in their homes. I'm making more space. And there's our Freya girl. Uh, so <laughs> she's got a coat on, I'm taking it off her. And her shaved belly, she's fine. Uh, we had her spayed, so there's 
that that's what's going on there um and you can look you can see she's she's happy she's trying to play with the, <laughs> the broom and uh she'll try and play with the vacuum cleaner in a minute i've never seen her this excited with the broom and the vacuum cleaner before um but yeah she seems to like it and i'm actually using it as a training opportunity which is what all this stopping and starting is about teaching her um self-control basically you know sit stay wait no um so yeah she's a good girl i get, look i can't complain she didn't mean to knock over the camera so it, it is what it is she didn't she doesn't realize what the cone is doing she just you know she's got no spatial awareness with it it's not her fault anyway here's the finished room um it's heaps better my god with those lights gone oh what a blessing um look at that corner with the table look at that beautiful dog um hello guys there i am uh so yeah i'm i'm tidy the room is tidy i've got to empty my bin yeah i know okay oh i still haven't done that um but surfaces are clean things are fairly organized which is great those three tubs at the back are pr things so when i can get rid of them they're good to go they're ready they're all sorted out um, underneath the table i just have like some of my storage tubs and things like that so you know easy to grab when i need them and the cat carrier uh, on my desk i have a bunch of new makeup products that i purchased and not tested out and also products from um, testing my whole collection video next one up is face palettes um, here's rubbish and recycling and that's it it's done there are more things that i want to do in this space um but you know rome wasn't built in a day so i'm just gonna you know take just one project at a time hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you've tackled any major tidying or declutter jobs around your house lately um i i feel like i've got about 30 others in my house that i could do particularly like my storage cupboards in my bedroom my god they give me a headache just thinking about it. it's a problem let's just declutter everything and start again shall we <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna leave it there like i said i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next one bye